everybody! So this video is the first of a new series. Every month I will post a video where I read a letter from Letters Live. I'll leave all the link in the description below. I hope you will like them. I decided to start with this letter because I think it's a great motivational message. And without further ado, let's go to the video. Dear Eva, April 14th. It will be almost a month since you wrote to me and you have possibly forgot your state of mind. I doubt it though. You seem the same as always, being you hate every minute of it. Don't. Learn to say fuck you to the world every once in a while. You have every right to. Just stop thinking, worrying, looking over your shoulder. Wondering, doubting, fearing, hurting, hoping for some easy way out. Struggling, grasping, confusing, hitching, scratching, mumbling, bumbling, grumbling, humbling, stumbling, numbling, rambling, gambling, tumbling, scumbling, scrambling, hitching, hatching, bitching, moaning, groaning, honing, boning, horse shitting, hair splitting, nitpicking, piss trickling, no sticking, ass gouging, eyeball poking, finger pointing, aisle away sneaking, long waiting, small stepping, evil eyeing, back scratching, searching, perching, besmirching, grinding, grinding, grinding away yourself. Stop it and just do. From your description and from what I know of your previous work and your ability, the work you're doing sounds very good. Drawing clean, clear, but crazy like machines, larger and bolder, real nonsense. That sounds fine, wonderful, real nonsense, do more, more nonsensical, more crazy, more machines, more breasts, penises, cunts, whatever, make bound them with nonsense. Try and tickle something inside you, your weird humor. You belong into the most secret part of you. Don't worry about cool, make your own uncool. Make your own world. If your fear make it work for you, draw and paint your fear and anxiety. And stop worrying about big deep things such as to decide on a purpose and way of life, a consistent approach to even some impossible end or even an imagined end. You must practice being stupid, dumb, unthinking, empty. Then you will be able to do I have much confidence in you and even though you are tormenting yourself, the work you do is very good. Try to do some bad work, the worst you can think of and see what happens, but mainly relax and let everything go to hell. You are not responsible for the world, you are only responsible for your work, so do it. And don't think that your work has to conform to any preconceived form, ideas or flavor. It can be anything you want it to be. But if life would be easier for you if you stopped working, then stop, don't punish yourself. However, I think that it's so deeply ingrained in you that it would be easier to do. It seems I do understand your attitude somewhat anyway, because I go through a similar process every now and then myself. I have an agonizing reappraisal of my work and change everything as much as possible and hate everything I've done and try to do something entirely different and better. Maybe that kind of process is necessary to me, pushing me on and on. The feeling that I can do better than the shit I just did. Maybe you need your agony to accomplish what you do. And maybe it goes you on to do better. But it is very painful, I know. It would be better if you had the confidence just to do the stuff and not even think about it. Can't you leave the world and art alone and also quit fondling your ego? I know that you, or anyone, 
can only work so much and the rest of the time you are left with your thoughts. But when you work or before you work, you have to empty your mind and concentrate on what you're doing. After you do something, it is done and that's that. You also must know that you don't have to justify your work, not even to yourself. Well, you know, I admire your work greatly and can't understand why you are so bothered by it, but you can see the next ones and I can't. You also must believe in your ability. I think you do. So try the most outrageous things you can. Shock yourself. You have at your power the ability to do anything. My work has changed since you left and it is much better. I will be having a show on May 4th to 29th at the Daniels Gallery 17E, 64th Street, where Emmerich was. I wish you could be there. Much love to you both. So...